I'm happily married. I like my wife. That's very cool. And I love my wife. That's even better. <laughs> it's, it's better. And I'm afraid of my wife. That is like the... Because we were raised, yeah, we were raised completely different. We are, we are the example of opposites attracting. Like I was born and raised in California. I have one older sibling, just one. My wife was born and raised in Tennessee. She is the youngest girl of 10. Yeah, because parts of Tennessee, they don't have cable. <laughs> so... We've been dating like about 10 months. We fell in love. We got engaged about a year. And it's time to meet the whole family. And she can meet my family pretty much in a booth at Denny's. <laughs> pretty much where we, it happened. But we have to fly back to Tennessee. There's a lot of people. They have their own family. So we're flying back. And I said, hey, um, what are we going to do? We're only here for three days. How are we going to meet? It? How many houses is that a day? That's going to be you know, a little awkward just taking hands and then going and she, oh no, on Saturday, I invited everybody hunting. I said, oh, that's not awkward. God, I've never been hunting. And she goes, oh, that's okay, it's the South. Everybody's gonna bring a guest gun. Okay. And so we all show up, we're showing up. I meet 38 of her family members. We're all show everybody is wearing orange. Because and I have a gun and, and I'm holding it, you know, up. The business end is not pointing at anybody, you know, because the big goal of the day not shoot anybody that's wearing orange. <laughs> that's my goal anyway. And we're in a big meadow, and we're gonna walk through the meadow into the woods, and we're gonna shoot stuff that's not wearing orange. <laughs> they didn't get the memo. And all of a sudden, as we're about to start, a bunny. Runs the, I, I'm not going to call him a bunny. That's too cute for the story. A rabbit makes the really bad choice of running across a meadow that is filled with 39 people with guns, of which 38 know how to use them. And my wife sees it first and steps up and yells, mine. And I'm like, oh, 100 yards away, kills that rabbit dead one shot yeah right i'm telling you and if you're gonna kill some killing it dead that's the way to do it and i am like oh we had been dating a year you would think being an expert with a rifle might have come up Like when I was bragging about being pretty good at ping pong. <laughs> she might have just slipped in. I can shoot a rabbit from 100 yards with one shot. <laughs> That's not... Then I find out, so I'm super impressed. And she's what? She goes, oh, you know, the family rule. And she walks out. Now I got to dress it. And I'm like, oh, and I'm sticking with her because I don't know how the teams are going to divide, but I want to be on her team. <laughs> Anything goes wrong, I'm with her. And I'm like, oh, hey, I don't know anything about this. And let me just say, dressing a rabbit, not like dressing a Barbie. <laughs> so she just whips out this big old knife out of nowhere. I'm a little terrified, you know, and she starts skinning the rabbit. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> And she looks up and she goes, oh, honey, I'm sorry. Did you want to keep the feet? They're supposed to be good luck. And I said, they weren't for the rabbit. <laughs> and he has four of them. <laughs> that superstition is as dead as the rabbit to me. Subscribe to Dry Bar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.